let me introduce the Murder Hornet, 1977 Anthony Powercraft Speedboat. We're gonna do some work on this baby. We're gonna refresh this big block Chevy we got in here. 454. Some cool looking headers. Need some work on those headers. There's some cracks in them. There's a possible crack in the block. We're gonna freshen this baby up, good as new. Well, she's floating. And that uh, cool sounding boat is not this one. It's that unassuming boat over there with a small block and a cam and some lifters and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna take this thing for a joyride and see how it feels. We we're checking to see if it held water, which it does, and whether it uh, leaks water, and it hasn't yet, and the uh, oil looks good still. So let's uh, give it a little test ride. Time garage fans we are going at this boat here we're gonna go at the murder hornet and yank this motor out of here it is good looking but it does not run well and needs a little TLC rebuild so we're gonna yank it out of here start by disconnecting everything um, systems wise all the fuel water electrical and then we're gonna figure out how to uh, take this transmission bell housing out of the way starter out of there that we just put in and then lift her out So let's get to it. Okay, uh, this is a couple hours later. We've got uh, everything stripped off the engine that uh, would come off easily. The intake, valve covers, headers, all the electricals disconnected. 
I mainly laid that stuff to the side where I could. There's fuel. Um, over there is uh, electrical distributor, um, alternator. Uh, starter was on this side, but I laid it over to that side because the wire bundle was running down that side of the boat. And then uh, there's convenient spot, just kind of lay the bolts. And then uh, hooked onto it in a couple of spots that are common to the heads. And uh, this uh, U-joint uh, just slid off of the shaft here. So that wasn't too bad, but I did have to get the uh, bell housing loose. Um, so that that would slide off or separate and then come off. So there's the engine mounts, just three bolts either side. And yeah, so it's ready for the machine shop and I'll let them do the rest of the disassembly on the heads and the front crank shaft pulley. I'll take this stuff off here though, the uh, U-joint and flywheel. Drain the oil and it should be ready. So yeah, not too bad and hopefully putting it back in is just as smooth, but it probably will be a little more of a struggle. But there's a look at everything. And uh, yeah, I pulled that panel that's the back panel to the interior out of the way, so it'd just be easier to access everything. Ready to go. Okay, we're back to work on the murder hornet. And we got a fresh, shiny big block hanging in the air, nearly ready to drop in over here. And uh, so, yeah, we got a good block. We had a bad head, we had a crack in the head. That was causing us some issue, which is what I suspected something wrong in the head gasket area it turned out to be the head itself. The block was good. The low end, bottom end of the motor was good. And now it's install time. So we're aiming at those two engine mounts. And at the back, we got us a new joint looking coupling to the uh, jet drive shaft there. Let's throw it in. Okay, there we go. A uh, little mission accomplished with the uh, motor bolted in place and I left the package on the top just so be protected until I get her finished up capped off but yeah went relatively smoothly all right we're getting to uh, unboxing the brand new headers here these Bassett uh, 9000 series. It's gonna look super cool and brand new. And just uh, installing the little water injector uh, adapters. And then uh, we got some gaskets. And uh, there's the motor without the headers. It's also got a new T-fitting that's pressurized to allow water to enter those in the right pressure and RPM. So uh, here's 
a look at the old ones. Yeah, and they are pretty rough. Pretty cracked up and rusted and tried to be repaired. That's the main reason for replacing them, man. So yeah. Same as the old, but shiny and new. Let's throw them on there. All right, guys. Got her all put back together. Got some fresh headers. Well, it's kind of dark, but you get the idea. Got everything reattached, except for the blower top. It's got a carb cover. It kind of looks like a blower. Looks cool. But for uh, test and tune purposes, we're going to leave that off. But the murder hornet is about alive. Go give it a run in the lake tomorrow. Woo! Murder Horn.